What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Rams Media, bringing Rams content every single day. If you want to see the daily Rams content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well if you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video because I'm coming out with all of these Baltimore Ravens draft pick instant reactions. This is another one of those, the fifth pick in the fourth round for the Baltimore Ravens. We have another one coming up right after this as well. So, guys, as always, please let me know what you guys think about this pick. Should they have gone in a different direction? Players that I'm hoping they go after, Khalil Shakir, Justin Ross. You know, those are probably the two best wide receivers I think available for the Ravens. There are guys like uh, like um, Calvin Austin out of, uh, you know, University of Memphis, who's much more similar to a Hollywood Brown, which I, I'm not totally against that. But I would rather get a bigger body like a like a Justin Ross type of player or even a Khalil Shakir, who's not super big. He's about six feet tall, uh, but he plays really big. He plays very physical. Um, but, you know, the Steelers, their pick is already in. I think their pick is being announced right now. Um, and then it's the Baltimore Ravens. So, you know, my my biggest hope is that what the Ravens do is they go after a player that's going to be able to make an impact. And the, the two positions I think they still need an impact at, or th I guess there's three. I think corner, they still need that depth that can also play a little bit of special teams. I think they need a third running back. And then I think they need that wide receiver. And so that's what I'm really hoping they end up doing. The Steelers end up taking, um, who are they picking? Najee Harris is announcing it. Calvin Austin the third. Okay, Calvin Austin off the board. Hopefully this starts the run of wide receivers. Hopefully the Ravens are able to draft two wide receivers right here uh, with their pick 139 and pick 141. Honestly, I'd be okay with that. But, you know, there's some good running backs uh, that are still available, you know, but... Overall, guys, I think the Ravens have been absolutely killing it with this draft. They've been doing a phenomenal job. Shout out to Eric DaCosta. Shout out to the entire scouting department because they've really they've really hit some home runs so far. And, you know, when I'm looking at the players that are available, you know, I wish they had gone wide receiver earlier, but I really like all of their selections. I was surprised by the punter selection, but I talked about drafting a punter. I felt like the Ravens should draft a punter. So, you know, I, I'm completely okay with that. Um, you know, so... Overall, if they're able to get a wide receiver within these next two picks, the Ravens pick is already in, so I can get my reaction. My my reaction won't be super long, most likely, because the Ravens pick again really soon, so I'm going to start up that next video. I may talk about it in the next video as well, so make sure to check that out. But overall, um, you know, I'm just I'm just waiting for this pick to come in. You know, obviously, I, I'm most definitely rambling, so if you're like, why is this guy rambling? I'm stalling until the Ravens pick is made, okay? I gave my thoughts on who I felt like they should take. I felt like they should take a wide receiver. The Ravens take, wow, Isaiah Likely, tight end, Coastal Carolina. Very interesting. Very, very interesting for them to go. I'm not against it. I feel like they should go wide receiver. You know, hopefully they go wide receiver with their next pick. But I, I, they're really trying to figure out who their tight end uh, number three is. They're creating a a narrative between, you know, two guys that they've already drafted. Uh, you know, trying to figure out who's going to be that tight end three. Isaiah Likely. I actually really like Isaiah Likely because he can make the big plays. So that's something to really keep in mind. Um, he's not the biggest or fastest player. Uh, however, you know, he he's a playmaker. So that's something that I do really like. He can definitely be a touchdown scorer. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for the other content. I'll see all of you again.